Today, I am about to kick some hair butt. I am about to put myself through a lot, I think. I believe, I might be not that hard, but I think that I am definitely gonna put myself through a lot today. Do I have patience? No. Am I gonna test those patients that I do not have today? Yes, I am. I am about to do something that isn't taught in hair school, that isn't taught by anyone. Salons don't do this, it's not like a thing. I mean, some people have done it, whatever. But anyways, I'm gonna create basically a painting, a work of art, Picasso in this hair. Picasso is gonna be shaking by the end of this video in his grave. And it's not just gonna be like there layered on top of her head like a painting like, oh, it's there, oh. No, girl, you know I'm not that basic. A little basic, but not that basic. I am gonna do a painting so that when her hair is down like this, you don't see anything. But when you move it away, when you spread it apart, I know what you're thinking. Brad, you're a genius. And I'm gonna say, I know. I. I know, you're welcome for me being a genius. So that's what's gonna happen today. But before I get started, I have a giveaway going on and I am doing a merch giveaway this time because you guys requested that a lot, that I do merch giveaway. So I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it. I mean, I, Cause I listen, I'm a good YouTuber, you know? I try to be. I am gonna give one person that wins the giveaway three pieces of merchandise that they want, whatever they want. So if you've always wanted my merchandise and cannot afford it or I don't know, whatever, just don't want to buy it, well, now is your chance to get it for free. So all you gotta do is follow me on Instagram and Twitter. They'll all be linked below for you. And then like my most recent Instagram picture. That way I know that you are in the com giveaway thing. All right? So the giveaway will end on January 12th and that is all. So I'm gonna go grab my supplies to start this hair thing that I'm gonna try and do. And let's get started. All right, so before this video even started, I did a lot of planning, a lot of planning, because again, I you don't get taught this in hair school or anywhere. <laughs> I went through a lot of different options here. Just wanna give you a little background. I went ahead, straightened the hair as much as possible because the way it's laying now, the way you color it is exactly how it's gonna look when you straighten it again after you wash the color out. Hopefully that makes sense. That way the picture is as perfect as possible. And by the way, you guys, this is indeed the wig that I have transformed like a hundred times. And this wig is like thousands of dollars. I didn't pay for it, but it is worth a lot, a lot of money, and I'm about to ruin it forever. So let's say bye to it. Bye. Okay, great. Let's move on. I'm gonna be parting it in the middle here. By the way, this is the side of the head. So I'm just gonna be doing one side. So I want it to be so that when I brush it over like that, the picture shines through, and I want the picture to be attached. So today I'm gonna be doing a heart. Why? Because it's easier than doing other things. I'm gonna be doing a heart, and when you open the hair up, you see it all. And when the hair is down, you see nothing. Therefore, I need to have a little bit of hair hanging over top so that the picture doesn't shine through. Uh, so this part up here is not going to be colored at all. And I was thinking, how am I going to make the picture perfect on both sides? Well, I'm glad you didn't ask because I don't know how I'm going to do that. So I printed out <laughs> some hearts that I was looking at. And as you can see, I don't know how to use my printer. It's a new printer. Printers are impossible to use. If you have a printer and you know how to use it, good for you. You are that 1% of the world because printers are terrible and I'm over it. The printer industry needs to be like, revamp somehow. So that's not gonna happen today. I decided I'm gonna freehand it because it'll work. Supplies, I have some Saran Wrap and Reynolds Wrap, which is just like, you know, that metal stuff. <laughs> I'm so smart. I have two different colors that I'm gonna be using today. I have Vibrant Pink and Extreme Purple. And I have a couple small brushes. The smaller the better for this. You're gonna need a lot of detail. And it's gonna be awesome. <laughs> All right, let's get started. So we're gonna divide this section into two, and then I'm gonna take a little section. How am I gonna do this? Ooh, girl, this is already really confusing. <laughs> I'm learning as we go here. So basically, I really am only wanting this whole layer to be colored. That way when it's down, again, you don't see it, and when it's out like that, you do. I'm gonna get rid of this top layer here. Yeah, that'll be good, that'll be good. Okay, look at this way. Luckily, she has a lot of hair. Okay, so this is all gonna get colored again in the middle. Here's where my patients start to um, go. I'm gonna take a piece of foil like this and I'm gonna put this right here. To act as sort of like a canvas for me to paint on. I don't know what I'll do if this doesn't work out like I planned. I'll be very upset and I probably will disappear from the internet for a month. Right. Fingers crossed that doesn't happen. Great, awesome. All right, I'm just kidding, that's not gonna go there. I really only need to color this section. Awesome, 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 awesome. I think I have it, guys, I think I have it. We're gonna take small, tiny sections, like pretty see-through, like this. 
All right, I'm gonna use this Gotta Be Glued hairspray. It's gonna make everything stay in place exactly the way I put it right now. That way it's the same way it's blow dried and everything. <sighs> this is already really tough and I'm really... <laughs> All right, great. <laughs> so the heart's gonna be pink because I like pink. Very, very pink and vibrant. Ooh, look at that, smells a little weird. We're not gonna take the pink first, actually. We're gonna take the purple and we're gonna make an outline for the heart. <sighs> I'm scared. Are you nervous? Okay, great. All right. <laughs> And we're gonna start to curve it up here. Funny thing is, I can't even like really draw a heart on a piece of paper. Never mind on hair. This kind of looks good. <laughs> you guys, I don't think you understand if I can accomplish this. I'm gonna be so excited. Okay, that looks like a heart. Just saying. I'm not trying to chew my own horn, but like a toot, a toot. You know, perfect. All right, now we're gonna fill in the heart with pink. And if you're wondering, Brad, why did you choose a heart? I'm glad you asked. It's because I love all of you, and I wanted to create this for you. All right, so now that we have the heart outline done, or the heart done, I'm gonna take conditioner, just whatever kind of conditioner you have. I mean, I don't know why you'd be doing this at home, but I'm gonna be covering the rest of her hair with conditioner, just be careful. This is gonna prevent any of that color from bleeding onto the blonde once we rinse it, because blonde hair tends to grab onto anything when you rinse it, so, but there's only so much you can do. It might stain a little bit, hopefully not, but this is preventative. One layer done, a hundred thousand to go. Awesome. One piece of saran wrap over the hair to protect that layer. And now we're gonna continue that step over and over and over again. And I'll see you on the other side. <laughs> All right. So now for this layer, you're just gonna follow the exact pattern you did on the bottom layer over and over again. That's why I use clear uh, saran wrap. That way you can see the design. Take very, very thin sections. That way the hair color penetrates that entire layer. Bam, who, who else, who, who, who's doing this kind of stuff? A few people are, but me too. Layer two done, let's keep going. Make sure you're putting a lot of color on these layers so it penetrates all the layers of the hair. And the last piece for this side, as you can see, it's really, 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 really small. Again, when you get closer to the top of all these layers, this is the layer that's gonna really matter. Um, people are gonna see this one the most. So just make sure you're really getting all of that hair penetrated with the color. You can even move it back and forth a little bit. So it's definitely a very, very tedious process. All right, so I have one side of the heart done. As you can see, I think it's gonna look a lot more pretty when it's all rinsed out. And hopefully the hair gods are with me today because if this color bleeds all over the blonde, I'm gonna be so distraught. I'm gonna move on to the other side and do the same process. So let's go do that. We're just gonna brush the other side with your Live Your Extra Life hairbrush. Um, and no, these are not for sale. Somebody just sent it to me and it's really cute. Thanks, Framar. Love you. Back to this. You could literally do a smiley face, you could do a star, you could do anything you want. That's the fun part about this. But obviously the more intricate the design, the more difficult it's gonna be. Duh. So we're gonna do exactly the same thing on this side. We're gonna take out this little section over here. I'm gonna make this as wide as this side. So, all right. And it's about an inch and a half. Y'all, this is confusing as hell. I hope some of this makes sense to somebody out there. Take our tin foil again to start the section. Bam! So we're gonna take a diagonal section. I got it, I got it! All right, now that I have that done, finally, uh, that took me forever to figure out. Basically, we're trying to draw the other half of the heart, obviously. So the heart is gonna be right there. <sighs> All right, in the next layer, this will be all connected up here. Once we get around here, these will connect. That looks pretty good. Hopefully that's gonna work. Great. Cover that with saran and onto the next layer.
Okay, so I finally <laughs> completed the heart. It's not looking that heart-like right now, but I think it will when I'm all done and it's blow-dried and straightened. I hope so. I'm very nervous about this part because the hard part is over, I think, but the next hardest part is gonna be washing this out without getting the purple and pink all over the rest of her hair. But that's why we put the conditioner there. So hopefully it won't get all over the, her blonde platinum hair. Please, <sighs> please. Okay, so I'm gonna let this sit for 20 minutes and then I'm gonna go rinse it out and you'll see what happens after that. Wish me luck. Okay, so I just washed it and I'm so excited right now. I cannot believe this is working. I really wasn't sure if I could do this. I mean, it looks crazy right now, but I'm not gonna show you yet the way it looks when it's brushed out. because It's really cool, but I wanna first blow dry it and straighten it and then I'll show you guys the sickening results. I did it, I did it. Like me, I did it. Oh God, I'm so happy right now. So I'm gonna blow dry it. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, it's like sort of a heart. Oh my god, that's fun. Come on. Look at my weird little heart. It's actually so cute. I'm really happy with this. It's not perfect. <laughs> Next time I think I won't do a shape, instead I'll do like really bright colors, like kind of like a mosaic pattern. And like, cause if you didn't know this was a heart, it still would look kind of cool. It's like, what is that under your hair? Like, what are you doing? I'm just like hanging out and I'm cool and I'm trendy cause I have a heart underneath the top layer of my hair. NBD, just putting it out there. It's kind of cool, kind of cool. What is wrong with me? And then it goes, Bye. And now she's ready for work. And then she can be like, oh my God, I'm ready to party. Oh, kind of cool. You guys, I'm so stoked about this. Like, I hope you enjoyed this because I want to do more of this. I think it's so cool. Dope, dope, dope. I love it, I love it. I'm so happy. Should I put the wig on? I should put the wig on. Okay, I'm back with my wig on um, and I'm feeling very bit and I'm living for it. So look, we're just hanging out, we're just hanging out, we're just hanging out and then we're like, ooh, what? what's that girl? Oh, this is just like a thing underneath my hair. Like what? Like where? Yeah, yeah, my hairstyle just wanted to put like a heart in my hair. So it's definitely not perfect, <laughs> but I think it's pretty cool for my first time trying something like this. And I have a way bigger appreciation for people who do these like peekaboo things on Instagram because girl, they're really difficult and that they are very artistic. This is a very specialty kind of situation. <sighs> that is all for today, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you enter my giveaway if you haven't already. Follow me on Instagram, follow me on Twitter, and like my most recent an Instagram post and the merch giveaway winner will be announced on January 12th on my Instagram story so make sure you check it out on that day. That is all. Leave this video a like, subscribe if you haven't already. It's only getting more and more lit here on the Brad Mondo YouTube channel. Thank you guys so much for watching today. Don't forget to live your extra life and I will see you all next time. Peace.